keep the nature of the photo. No freebies! No freebies! <laughs> What's wrong with you? The famous Italian club owner. You can't take pictures of me. I think that's it. Where do you like to go? I take you to the fanciest Burger King in all of LA. You can order anything you want off of the dollar menu. Come on, come with me. I'm super classy. <laughs> It is absolutely impossible to walk from Highland to Orange without being confronted by folks who are looking to make money off of unsuspecting visitors. Virgin Records, they were frustrated by the fact that customers who might have been entering their store to buy legitimate music would be confronted by a phalanx of CD hawkers as they're walking into the store. We have received a lot of complaints from visitors when a CD is thrust in their face or someone confronts them or hands them a CD. I, no, I really don't have you don't want to. Much love. You can help the Haitian people. You don't feel like Haitian people deserve it, maybe. Or maybe you don't have cash. You'd be back there. If somebody either tries to walk away accepting what looks like a gift and is not willing to pay, they may run up against a very angry person. If they give the CD back saying that they're not interested, they also could be continually harassed to buy it, I need the money, I'm, I'm a struggling artist. The problem that we see is that we have a very small stretch of sidewalk, 12 to 14 feet of the public right of way, along basically one long block face, and there's so many people competing for space. First of all, we've got thousands and thousands of pedestrians, but now also we've got the characters and the CD vendors and tour bus hawkers also competing for space on the sidewalk in order to conduct their so-called business. The competition for that precious real estate escalates into tension and arguments and threats and, and most frightening violence which has been captured by tourist videos and has been shown throughout the world on YouTube and actually has also resulted in arrests and physical assaults of both innocent people and, and also some of the vendors and characters involved in fights together. So we asked you, we don't want to be in it. Then, no, then you. I have a right to be here. So do we, and we don't, we don't, we ask you nicely, we don't want to be in your film. I'm not so find someone else. Hey. Well, then why do you keep coming over here and doing it? I'm filming everything, man. You're not, you keep coming over to us and filming us. So stop it, thank you. We've already asked you twice. Go film something else, there's an entire street here, okay? This is a public street. She dresses up as a cat. She didn't ask us nicely. She didn't ask if we'd like to be filmed. She just really. I wasn't rude either. I didn't say anything to you until now. Sometimes it might be impossible to secure a licensed character for some kind of event, yet they are quite evident out on the boulevard. And it is surprising to us that the studios and the, the companies who regulate the comic book characters would not have more concern about the cleanliness of the uniforms, about the behavior of the individuals who are wearing their licensed images. Many, many people who come to Hollywood think that these characters are sanctioned by someone. So if you've got a character who has gone around the corner, taken off their mask to smoke a joint, or if they are misbehaving in some way or involved in a brawl or a fight or disrespectful to tourists, it reflects poorly on the company.
We have heard from parents who say that their children are afraid to come to Hollywood Boulevard because there are certain characters, either by the way they are dressed or because they carry certain weapons or they might have a snake or some other kind of animal or they are just frightening and intimidating in general. Uh, the parents are upset and will not come to the boulevard or in some cases children would actually cross the street and walk on the south side of the street to avoid running into some of the characters who were particularly intimidating. Is it me? Is it you? Who knows? Are they a male? Oh, I'm not sure. Are they in their 20s? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. Are they tall? Um, I think they look tall. I, I don't know how to answer these. Do they have a criminal record? Oh, I have no idea. Are they a sex offender? What? I never get to see their face. In those instances where somebody has been identified in committing a crime and there's been a stay away order imposed by the city, it is impossible to know if that person has come back again in violation of that stay away order if they are wearing a different mask. If somebody perpetrates a terrorism related crime, it would be absolutely impossible to identify that person. Los Angeles has a few potential terrorism targets, one of which is Hollywood Boulevard, and it's not beyond the realm of possibility to assume that a masked, draped, caped character could actually perpetrate an act of significant violence and harm against innocent citizens, and we would have no way of identifying who that person was. It's frustrating for some of our local merchants to see that valuable parking spaces intended for customers and visitors to the boulevard are in a sense hijacked for an entire business day by tour bus tour buses who will park for hours on end in violation of what seems to be the city's requirement that there only be one hour parking in metered spaces and it seems that it should be a fairly simple situation to address through enforcement and monitoring of the situation. And we are just asking the city's help in enforcing the existing laws governing metered parking and freeing up access of those precious parking places for customers who are patronizing the businesses on Hollywood Boulevard. The legitimate businesses on Hollywood Boulevard who pay their business license taxes, comply with county health inspections, and pay their payroll taxes for their employees are very upset when they see dozens of food vendors show up in the evening to capture business from what would be business drawn to some of our established restaurants and pizza, Chinese food places, etc. It, it always amazes us that any human being would actually want to buy one of these hot dogs. Often there is no evidence that there is any facilities nearby to wash their hands. You'll see boxes of hot dogs and bacon left out in unrefrigerated situations. The potential for food poisoning is high. And in addition, many of these makeshift food carts have propane tanks attached to them, which are highly flammable and a great danger and would not be allowed under normal circumstances.